Hey everybody, I'm Rotten John and welcome back to Conan Exiles. I've gotten a few questions on where I get and how I get my Yetis. So today I'm going to show you how to get your very own Yeti pet. So let's get into it. There are three types of hearts that we're going to collect to use, and they are the hearts of a Nordheimer, hearts of a hero, and human hearts. We're now at G9 on the map, and we're going to start with hearts of the Nordheimers first. Right here at G9 by the Broken Bridge, you'll find two of the Dina Huntress Masters right here. And once you kill both of them, you can collect the hearts of Nordheimers from them. Now I'll take you to a few spots in the north here where it's fairly easy and fairly common to find the named Nordenheimers that you need to collect their hearts. Just east of this location, still in G9, you can find Freya's hovel. There will be a couple other NPCs nearby her. Usually a blacksmith and a fighter of some sort. They're fairly easy to kill. By now you should be able to handle them. The one thing you need to be careful of though is up on this ridge is a white wolf. He's no ankle biter. He'll actually try to chew your face off. And this is our lady Freya here. So we're going to kill her and take her heart too. Our next victim is going to be Leon, and you'll find him right around F10. You have to be a little careful in this area because he also has a couple other NPCs near him. And we're going to make poor Leon here dead so he can donate his heart in the name of science. Another good spot to look at is F9, and this is the Stormwatch area, and you will sometimes either find a Janos or a Varpnir here. Alright, the next type of heart we're going to collect are Hearts of the Heroes, and a more common area to find them are inside of the Unnamed City, and I'll show you the locations here on the map. We are at E5 in the Unnamed City here. And you're looking for the named fighter bosses. Unfortunately, these guys are not tameable. Now, these are the Relic Hunter Treasure Seeker bosses. There are four of them in the city. And I'll show you three of them. The fourth one is at D6 up on top of the big stone paved platform. This next one is located in the upper middle part of D6. All of these Relic Hunter Treasure Seeker bosses in here will have three to five other adds that you'll have to fight along with them. So be ready for a bit of a fight when you come after these guys. And it's probably best to bring a good fighter thrall with you. Our next victim is going to be right about the center of E6. And you're going to have to fight a few skeletons, plus the bosses add-on NPCs in this area also. Another type of heart that we can collect are the human hearts. And to get human hearts, we can use our set ritual knife and just harvest the NPC's bodies with it. And that'll give us a human heart. Another good area for collecting human hearts is at Sepamaru City. Now 
Now that we've collected all the hearts that we want, we're going to head to right about the center of H3. And we're looking for Hanuman's Grotto. Now this cave is full of imps, but they're pretty weak and squishy. You shouldn't have any trouble fighting any of these. There is an imp boss in here. And if somebody knows what the moratorium is that this imp boss drops, please let me know in the comments. So far, the only use I've found for it is a decoration on a table or a shelf. I don't know, I just find it odd that a mini boss drops a bowl that is basically just a decoration. Anyways, moving on to the back side of the cave here. In this first part of the water, you can either climb up on the rocks and jump back in the water, or you can just simply dive down and swim between the opening here. And just a side note, this is another good cave to collect a bunch of crystal and glowing goop. So this is the boss that we're going to have to fight in here. He's not too tough, but he does have a spear and he's got some reach with it so he can do a little bit of damage to you. And we're just going to kill him off and take his heart. He also drops a withered heart that you'll need to have to access the chest here. And there's also a couple of scrolls right here that'll teach you a little bit of the lore. And the second scroll, which is usually right on this uh, ape's hand teaches you how to get into the chest basically tells you you have to have the withered heart to access it and then the other hearts to trade for your items there is also one more heart that we haven't covered yet and that is the heart of the king scourge you go up to the black keep dungeon and fight the king scourge and bring his heart down here to trade it in normally if you're lucky enough you'll get a corrupted gray ape but you're better off using the King Scourge Heart to make your Telesoro Sword. After trading in a few hearts, you can see we've already gotten a Silverback Gorilla and a Yeti Protector. We still have a couple more hearts though that we're going to trade in. All right, we're done trading in our hearts, so let's go back to our base and see what we've got. All right, here's a silverback gorilla that we've got. Here is a corrupt gray ape that we got. And here is our Yeti protector. And we did end up getting a couple of them. As you can see, they don't have the most health. They're not the strongest, but they do make pretty cool pets. And another item that you can get from Hanneman's Grotto are the potions. And these potions will give you a random bonus to your attributes. But you can only use one at a time. If you use two, one after the other, then your first attribute bonus will disappear. And the current attribute bonus will be the only one present. Now they're nothing real spectacular, but they do give you some help. And I do want to point out that when you do trade your hearts in at Hanneman's Grotto, everything that you can get is all random chance. So you may get a whole inventory full of these potions and, and no yetis. So let's take a quick little look at our yeti in action. Like I had said earlier, they're not much for fighters, but they are pretty cool looking and pretty nice to have around your base. This one actually seems to be a little broken right now as he's not fighting back any. Actually, I think he's gonna run away. Mm -hmm. 
maybe he just wants a shale back as a pet for his own. So now you know how to get your very own Yeti pet. Please hit that subscribe button. It's totally free for you. And hopefully you'll learn something new that you can go out and impress your friends with.